Alright ladies and gentlemen, today I'm continuing our Visual Basic game tutorial. And give me a second. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'm good now. But anyways, today we're continuing our Visual Basic game tutorial. And I would just like to say that um, with this one, um, it's all going to be in the code. There's really like nothing you can look at for this one. So I'm just going to get rid of this whole side view. And we're just going to look at straight code today. Because that's all we are doing, as I said. So first thing I'm going to do to, uh, I just copy and pasted it in because it is quite the function. So it's declare function, get async key state, lib, user32, byval vkey as system.windows.forms.keys as short. And you need to get this all like spot on correct or it will not work. Like you cannot have like even the slightest typo. Like just, uh, just look at it because like the video quality is actually pretty decent for how I record it. So you should, you will remember this, like, because this, this is gonna save our lives. Now we have our key down events, and as and as we remember with like our old ones, we can only hold one key at a time. Look at this, this is ridiculous. What can you do? Like you can't move down and up and left at the same time. You can only move in one axis at the same time. Well, we're gonna fix that, and it's gonna look dang sexy if I if I do say so myself. So you guys know the player timer that we have way down here. Well, we are going to use get async key state. Now, um, if you don't know, a key state just returns whether the key is up or down, or like, and some other values. But mainly, we're just gonna use it for up or down. So if get async key state, keys dot w does not equal zero. Does not equal zero means it's down. And so I'm just gonna copy and paste this if statement three more times, and actually four. So get async w a S D sweet and we're also gonna do space right because we shoot yep I remember so first thing we're gonna come back all the way up to here and we're going to get these all these variables copy and we're just no I need to cut all this I need to cut it all out so that way we don't like you know take some of the same crap that we already have down there over again. So we're going to come down here to this and control V it in and be like I'm also going to get a butt ton of errors while this is clearing up bars slash I'm going to start commenting this code bars slash counter and this will be a movement key states because once you get projects that are relatively large handles projectile especially in like large functions like this handles projectile and also makes things easier on me so look at all this because we screwed up good so w we're just gonna you know cut him out we're gonna come down here to is it w yep so w back up here grab a just cut him out like this is really redundant but see i just wanted to introduce that type of movement first and then we go to this better improved type of movement. See, because what I'm doing is I'm building like a baseline project and I want to go improve it, make it better. So we're going to do our pick player dot top. So I think this will keep animating every time the timer ticks. So we might need another boolean. Down. Up down. And our last one. Cut. And then we're going to get the space one in here soon. So, boom. And then we are going to grab all of this ooh we're gonna get all of this cut and we're going to scroll all the way back down to get async key state space pop all that in there and then I think all we have left yep is this crap right here and we're going to cut all this out and our this is gonna cause some garbage to happen. I'm pretty sure. Control V. Now let's pick up animation counter mod two. So I'm gonna run this, right? I got an out of range animal exception. Okay, sweet. So I think I know what I need to do here. So oh okay, cool. So we're gonna um dim moving as boolean equals false. Sweet, so we got false. And now we're just gonna cut you. 
Now, um, if W is pressed, moving equals true. And the same with A, S, and D, which I'm going to get to in a second. First, I need to wrap this. Um, if moving equals true, I'm going to have that animation counter counter right there. Animation is going to go up a frame. I'm gonna cut all. We're going to cut the animation in. Cut. Sweet. This is our animation because because as because that was an out of range exception for our array because the animation kind of went up and so did that and it was out of range and I think this should fix it. So moving equals true. I'm going to do the same for um, a s and D and let's see if this works. I hope it does. Yep. But see, look, he goes wicked fast, so that could be bad. So we might want to like reduce this to. Two, maybe three. I think two is the optimal one, but you know, what are you gonna do? So we pop this to two. And yep, there we go. Here's our pace. And this is a lot more smoother now. Like the other one was choppy beforehand, like it'd go pop and then poof, smooth. So this one really smoothed up our animation, in my opinion, and really made it a lot better. And I think next time, because I'm just so awesome. We're gonna make a this. Don't hold me to it, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it. We're gonna start to work on a level editor to change all these tiles to the one we want. So that way we can start making levels for this game, which we're gonna save in the text files and then reload. And as I said before, this is an advanced Visual Basic tutorial, so you gotta know what I'm talking about before, because we're gonna like start introducing new classes and structures, which we're gonna create ourselves, and it's gonna be difficult. But this was just like the start there, because like this really makes it look better. Like our animation frames happen a bit too often though. But you know what are you gonna do? It's the best we could do. It looks, it still looks slick in my opinion. And I just want to make sure our shooting works. Yep, our shooting works still. All we did was just move some code around and use key states. See, look, now we can do this. Could we do this before? I don't think we could. We couldn't. And like you know it, because playing around with this. And I know it's been a while since I put up this last tutorial video, but I just got in the mood to make, make some tutorial videos and just make videos in general since this computer fair that happened the other day. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I will see you later.